It's been 20 years since my next guest walked into law school as strangers. But all four of these women are now judges. <laughs> That's major, man. What, what is it that inspired you to become judges? I wanted to be a judge since I was 14. Um, there was a paper that I had to write in my English class, and my high school librarian, Mrs. Judy Saratella, she introduced me to Thurgood Marshall. I researched him, his life, his career, all of his milestones, and I said, I'm gonna be the first African-American woman to sit on the United States Supreme Court. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. now, that was, that was 29 years ago, and yeah. we still don't have uh, an African-American woman on the United States Supreme Court, so the position is still up. <laughs> they, they waiting on you. <laughs> I'm here and ready. What do you all want people uh, to know when they see you as a judge sitting there on the bench? When people see me as a judge on the bench, I want them to know that I'm compassionate and merciful. I grew up very poor in Eastern North Carolina. I was raised by my working class mother. And I will say this, that my mother missed some bills, but we didn't miss no meals. <laughs> <laughs> we ate, because she understood how to show me love. And so when people look at me, I want them to know that they, if I can, so can they. That's right. Okay, you. I want to hear from each one of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I never had the dream as a child that I would make it to be a judge, just that I could be an attorney. Um, but I didn't have any political ties, didn't have a whole lot of money, but I had faith in God, mm -hmm. and I had work ethic. And those are the things... Mm -hmm. As long as you put your trust in God and you have some work ethic, any dream that you have can be realized. Wow. Mm -hmm. I want people to know that when they see me on the bench that anything that they could dream can be a reality. I remember a time I was sitting on the bench and a little African-American boy stuck his head in the courtroom and he said, she is black. Mm. Because he had never seen an African American mm. in that position. Mm -hmm. So young people should be able to see themselves mm -hmm. in any position. And that's only gonna happen when we have people in all positions yeah. looking up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On that point, Steve, about young people being able to see themselves I will say, when I was young, I can't think of one person other than my parents who would have said, that girl is gonna be a judge. <laughs> Not because I lacked the intelligence, I had all A's, but I was lacking in the confidence, the ability to believe in myself, the assertive nature. I had none of that as a child. That all came as an adult. So I want young people, when they see me, to know you don't have to be what you are trying to be in the future. There's a process that comes along with that, a transformation and you can grow into that butterfly or whatever it is you're trying to yeah. be, but you have to go through the process first. Wow. <laughs> so let me tell you, I hear that you all call yourself the Golden Girls. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Okay, so that's my story. When we're all first year law students, first semester, and I started spending time with these ladies in the dorm, and I said to myself, they kind of remind me of the Golden Girls. It was an online quiz called, Who's Your Inner Golden Girl? And so I got them all to take the quiz. When they took the quiz, just as I suspected, <laughs> she turned out to be Rose, she turned out to be Dorothy, she turned out to be Blanche, and I turned out to be Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, I need to tell you something. <laughs> I gotta tell you something. We can't use the name Golden Girls now that you have put us out here like this and everybody here is Golden Girls. So we have a new name. It's Sisters Who Rule. And we're thinking about using the slogan, act like a judge, think like a judge. Bam. <laughs> well, I got a little souvenir for all of y'all cause I've been messing around with this. So these are for you. This is Teresa's. Oh, y'all, and if you look at it, Keisha, Aww. Camille, <laughs> and Shamika, Aww. I done put all y'all faces on the Golden Girls Aww. photo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank Why? you.
Hey, everybody, give it up for these incredible women right here. Thank you. Your honors, thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for the light that you bring to this world and the inspiration for so many young people out there today. This is a great story. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Hey, everybody, we'll be right back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.